immigration is in focus going into next week. House Speaker Paul Ryan says Republican leaders have been working hand in glove with the White House on immigration ahead of a vote next week on two bills. We now have a bill that represents a compromise that is going to be brought to the floor so members can actually vote on legislation tackling this issue. And this has a chance of going into law because, like I said before, last thing I want to do is bring a bill out of here that I know the president won't support. Joining me now from Washington is House Majority Leader Congressman Kevin McCarthy of California. Great to see you, Congressman. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me back on, Maria. So some people are calling this bill amnesty. Are they wrong? Yeah, then they, they haven't read the bill or they haven't seen the text yet because this is not amnesty. This is dealing with the DACA issue by keeping it the rule of law, not putting a special path for them. But what's most importantly, it is building the wall and it's protecting the border. No longer this catch and release. We stop that. And the interesting thing we do here is we tie and make sure the full funding there is for the wall, but we tie it if the wall's being built to how we deal with DACA going forward. So there's an incentive for everybody to work together to make sure that border is secure. And that's the thing we've learned from the last immigration bill, that they had all these promises about border security, but none of that happened. We make sure the accountability and the border security is there so we do not have this problem into the future. I mean, you would think that everyone would be on board with that and, and that that is what everyone wants as a country. And yet you continue to get pushback on the left. What should we think about in, in terms of seeing this going into a major election in November? You're trying to put this on the table now, but are you actually getting the support from your colleagues on the left? Uh, no, I mean, but but they're voting against children's health. They voted against veterans and military construction just last week. Pelosi put the notice out. They're voting against opioids. I mean, they want to try to stop everything they can. And then over in the Senate, they're even doing it worse than we've ever seen before. If you look at the last six presidents, the number of times you had to have cloture that's a, to move forward on an appointment was only 24, whereas Schumer has done that 100 times just in these first two years of this presidency. So they're trying to stop any mo moment, uh, movement going forward. But if you look at the economy, you look what's happened with the VA, you look how we're going after um, opioids this week, we're not going to let them stop us, and we're going to continue to be successful. Well, by the way, we just got the retail sales number out, and it shows that the consumer is spending money. I mean, we were worried that the consumer was actually saving the money that they saved on the tax cut package. But in fact, retail sales were up eight tenths of a percent. So we are seeing that strength on the consumer side as well. You are. And Maria, you know one of my favorite facts that's out there? In the last 49 years, unemployment in America has only been below 4% seven months in 49 years. And two of those seven months were April and May of this year. This is one of the wow. best economies we have ever witnessed. That, that is great. And in fact, the markets are reacting as well. We're expecting the uh, market to open up about 100 points here. This is the high of the day, everybody, as we see a reaction from that retail sales number.